replace block tool. You can get that in your main toolbar at the top here, which is this one right here. Place block. Or you can also go to your construction toolbar and select the place block tool here also. A couple different methods that you have. You have a rotated and you have orthogonal. Depending on how you want to create the this particular block. We'll just use orthogonal as our first example. And then of course you still have the same fill types, opaque, outline, and none, just like what the circle method does. So we're not going to go over those again, but they have those same options inside here whenever you're creating that block. So if we're ready to create this block orthogonally, all you have to do is left click once, we drag it out. You don't have to hold your left mouse button down. Just left click once, drag it to wherever you want to go, left click to drop it off, and you're finished. Simple as that. Left click once left click again you create the, that particular block or we can do it rotated now it's going to say enter first base point so we'll left click to identify our base point and now you'll notice that here that you're it's trying to create a line which in reality it's kind of creating a an alignment it's creating a line out there to base this block off of. So we'll go out here and we'll just arbitrarily left click to place it. And now you'll notice once you do that second left click, you'll notice that you can create your particular block now on your screen at that angle. So if you want to place it out there, you can left click to drop it off depending on what size that you want, and you're finished. So it's three left clicks first point your second point depending on what angle that you want to place it at and then last but not least depending on what size that you want you'll left click to drop it off and then you're finished